We 3D scan the entire uh, mace. So we'll also have a linear length of walls. But what we're going to do for the Guinness Book of Records is figure an area out. And we're going to do that with um, uh, RTK, uh, real-time kinematic GPS survey. It's going to be hooked to the cell phone network for corrections, tracking 15 satellites, and we're going to measure about every 10 meters all the way around the perimeter and spit out an area. I'll be taking the shots. The position will be recorded up here, at the top of the wall. This little screen will show me a map of the points as we go. And then it'll give me the results. Uh, I've gotten snow in the scans before, but it's never been the purpose of my scan, so I didn't know how the laser would react bouncing off of snow. So I've tested it, and this snow is almost as hard as concrete, so it's bouncing back the lasers perfectly. The official size of Clint's snow maze is 2,789.114 square meters. Okay, that means something to you guys, but I'm going to open up the envelope to see what the current world record is. You guys are going to have to do some mental math. A finish, official Guinness World Book of Records from this morning. And the current record is... 1,696 square meters. Oh, way to go. So we beat it. It's been measured, it is absolutely official. It is the biggest snow maze in the world. I'm ecstatic and I know that uh, officially, we're actually, we were measured as the biggest, but to be Guinness World Book of Records, I've still got a bunch of documentation and a, a bunch of stuff to send them on Monday. So I still got a little bit of work. So I suppose right now it's that uh, intrepidation that I'm gonna get my homework done properly because the snow maze was done and it's done and it's big. And so we just gotta get the homework in. I always said, you know, we're just the people that have put together the snow maze, the friends and the family, uh, but everyone who's ever attended this corn maze is part of this Guinness World Book of Records. We could never have done it without their support over the last 21 years. And so it was awesome. And, you know, in those warmer days, not so much in the polar vortex time, but uh, we've had awesome support from Manitobans that want to come out. I don't know why, but it's just, I think, man's inherent need to go bigger. So we really want to go bigger next year, but we actually want to really focus on a bunch of uh, sort of eye candy inside. We want to maybe do stuff that like laser lights and so we might not just always pursue bigger, 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 but we want to pursue cooler, cooler, cooler.